Hello caffeine fiends and welcome to another coffee review video for www.getbean.com I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we are looking at Argyle Coffee Roasters Peru Las Naranjas uh, coffee beans. Now it's not a blend, it's all from Peru, so it's a nice single origin, simple, down the line, bag of coffee. Uh, 250 grams, 6.95. Now, I did not buy this coffee. I received it as a gift from my friends who live very close to the Argyle Coast. It's a lovely part of the world. Uh, this is roasted in a tiny, tiny little place called Tinnerbrook. Gorgeous little place if you're ever there. Um, I have had the fortune to go. I have not visited the roaster come coffee shop that is there because I was intending to, I messaged them saying, hey, can we come and check out your roastery? I loved your last coffee. Um, and they were like, yeah, sure, next time you're up, just give us a message. Unfortunately, I then stayed in a COVID household and my two week holiday was just hanging around in a garden, trying not to catch COVID. I didn't, but I also didn't go out and see any of Scotland. So pros and cons. Anyway, so the last time, some of you may remember if you're regular watches, watches. The last time I reviewed Argyle Coffee Roasters coffee was when I reviewed their Los Naranjas Nino, Los, Los, Nino, Los Nino Naranjas, Child of the Oranges, uh, beans from Colombia. And it was my first five star review. To date, it is my only five star review. As of present, do I think this will get five stars? God, I hope so. But honestly, I've given out one five star review. I don't think lightning can strike twice. That's nothing. That's not a slight against Argyle Coffee Roasters. That's just, I have found my favorite coffee from them. Can they match it with these, this Peruvian coffee? Who knows? Lord, I hope so. Um, but yeah, 6 for 250 grams is not bad going at all. I don't think this is on sale at the moment on their website, possibly because it's out of season, possibly because they've just changed tack, but keep an eye out for it when it comes back. If it comes back, maybe write them a message if you want to try it. Anyway, they have loads of coffees. This one presently isn't on their website. I'm sure it'll be around soon. Unless I taste this and go, ooh, this tastes like bleach. But the tasting notes don't say bleach. They say peach, apricot, and honey. So very soft flavors. Interesting. Very fruity, soft fruits, very fruity, sweetness from honey. I am expecting a very sweet coffee. Apricot and peach are very, they're not similar flavors. I could tell between an apricot and a peach if you gave me both. Yeah. But in terms of coffee tasting, I feel they're very similar. Um, apricot maybe a bit more sweeter, a bit more bite. I'm wondering if there is an acidic bite from, from those kind of stone fruit notes, but I'm expecting quite a soft sweetness. Um, which sounds very pleasant actually. There might be, there might be a little bit of acidity, kind of just, again, that stone fruit suggests a slight acidity, but not as strong as something that say, would say kind of citrusy, um, perhaps. So. I am expecting, honestly, quite a soft, sweet coffee. Uh, the honey, again, may be quite sugary from that. We will see, give it a go. We will do our usual, give it a go as an espresso and then as an oat latte. So we're expecting soft and sweet. We're expecting good things. Let's grind it up and power on.
Here we have our espresso shot. Gorgeous creamy crema. Oh, smells fantastic too. There's a real richness, almost a chocolatiness coming off it, which is interesting because that wasn't mentioned. Nice dark heart. <laughs> have they done it again? I mean, from smell alone, quite possibly. Smells fantastic. Genuine kind of richness, sweetness, darker tones maybe. I'm intrigued to see what it tastes like. Here goes. So, oh, well, sweetness doesn't come through initially. And then there's this nice kind of pulsating sweetness that just pushes through at the last moment. There is a, a soft fruit apricotiness to it, um, but it's not so bold that you'd go, wow, that's really sweet, you know, in your face. It's, it's a very smooth kind of rich kind of pushes up on the tongue basically it comes through nicely and it has this scent of a fruity sweetness but it's, it's darker than you expect when you actually drink it there's no kind of really kind of harsh bite at the back of your throat it's so smooth um yeah and there's a real real kind of i don't know there is a kind of syrupy mouthfeel at the end there. So I, I don't know if they meant that by honey, that kind of, you know, viscosity. It just lays on top of the tongue. Um, but in terms of, of bold flavors, they, they're not, they don't clash, nothing comes to the fore greatly. And then there's just this nice, just right at the end, this nice subtlety right at the end. And I'm really enjoying that actually. Um, and there's a little bit of complexity there that you kind of go, all right, so there is a, it gives you something to think about, certainly. But the smoothness is, is incredible. And I just maybe expected something a little bolder with those tasting notes, with peach and apricot. I, I, you know, I know I started uh, this video by kind of saying they're quite similar and they're not, I kind of see them and go, well, they're not greatly bold flavors, but I just expected maybe a little more sweetness. That being said, that is gorgeous. Like I say, darker and richer than I expected. So I'll give it a go as an oat latte. Um, not really sure what to expect because a lot of fruitier coffee don't necessarily pair well with kind of milk settings. Um, you want kind of richer, creamier ones, the, the, the chocolates and the caramels, personally, I feel. And I think if you want fruiter, fruitier, you, you drink that kind of black. Now, would I drink that as an espresso shot? Yes, but it hasn't got that kind of punch that I would expect. So, so I'd expect something, I'd maybe have something more acidic, more fruity, more citrusy in a espresso. However, that's gorgeous. Let's see how it pans out as an oat latte, and then I will give my final thoughts. So there we have the latte pour, which I'm quite happy with, quite a thick head there, but we'll see what we get. I don't know if the peach will kind of be accentuated or dulled down by the milk. So we'll see how it goes, give it a try. Wow, so the peach and apricot actually kind of really get drawn out by the milk so it's, it's very very fruity and quite nice actually the peach really comes through so it's this kind of very creamy peachy experience which is really quite pleasant um and exactly kind of what it says on the back so um without that kind of dark richness it, it just becomes kind of really creamy and fruity which is um not what I expected. I mean, it's really pleasant. It's almost like a, it's 
not like a yogurt, but there's, a, there's that kind of creamy, fruity sensation that is almost it's very different from the espresso experience. Um, but that peach comes through rather than disappears, which is very interesting. Like I say, that darkness, that richness is brought right back, but it's still a smooth, fruity drink. So I'm really enjoying that, both as a latte and as an espresso. Um, so I'll go away, write some notes up about it, and uh, give you my final thoughts in a little bit. So I've gone away and had a think about the coffee. Um, very pleasant, very, very good coffee. So I'm not showing you the score just yet, because as I mentioned earlier, Argyle coffee are the first and only uh, coffee I've given five stars, so can they do it again? So this is very smooth and works really well as an espresso and a latte, and that really pleasant soft peachy tone comes through. Um, and there's no harsh acidity, as I was saying earlier, really smooth, kind of really rich. And then as an oat, as a latte, it's it's more, it's sweeter, and that, that peachy tone comes through. So what do I think? Ultimately, I've given it four and a half stars. I desperately wanted to give it five. Can I give our girl coffee two five stars? I mean, can can they do that? I mean, I, I was so, so close. I think ultimately what pushed me to just have it is that it's not tones I would naturally gravitate towards. So it's a very pleasant coffee, but it's just not... You know, usually I, I like um, chocolatey tones, caramel tones, and that's that's nothing against the coffee. That's just personal preference. And I just felt, you know what, I can't I can't give two five stars. Um, but I was so, so close, so tempted. Because um, it is, you know, the uh, what I like to give five stars for is 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 you know the tasting notes being bang on the money. And this really was with that apricot and peach. I got more peach than apricot. I'm going to be honest. I didn't get a lot of apricotty, you know, notes. They're there, but I was definitely when it says peach, and I'm like, mm, yeah, real peachiness there. So four and a half, four and three quarters, basically a five is what I want to say. It's basically a five. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. That being said, Argyle Coffee have absolutely knocked it out of the park on this one again. Uh, I'm really excited to try more of their stuff and hopefully, hopefully one day I can get to their roastery and just, you know, see how they do it. But lovely stuff again, really pleasant coffee. Do go out and give them a try. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Do hit those like and subscribe buttons. Check us out at www.getbeam.com for cafe reviews as well as equipment reviews. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.